Everything will break one day. It doesn't matter what it is. Garbage is the uh, only industry that will one day own all your possessions. So my name is Tom Zaki. Um, yeah, and that's, uh, that's who I am. TerraCycle always started with this kernel of how do you eliminate the idea of waste. That's our reason for being. And I think it's very important when you start an idea to be really centered on your reason of being. Right? What are you trying to solve? But then be super flexible with how you accomplish doing that. We run, say, the world's largest supply chain for ocean plastic. We're all over the world, from New Zealand to Brazil, and UK, Canada. We have teams that are uh, working with NGOs to collect ocean plastic from oceans, rivers, lakes, and beaches. And anyway, long story short, we collect it, process it, and it turns into things like the Head and Shoulders bottle or uh, the Fairy Dish Soap bottle, some pretty big, uh, big brands. I was born in, uh, in Budapest in, uh, in 82, and uh, back then uh, it, it was still under the Iron Curtain, because the Iron Curtain fell in 1989. So my parents wanted to leave, and we left in 86 when um, Chernobyl happened. That allowed to create some sort of instability, and we escaped effectively as, as refugees. Um, I'm married to Avi, and she's this amazing uh, woman um, uh, that we met in um, Tel Aviv, or uh, yeah, in Tel Aviv. And she's phenomenal, like uh, uh, just, just so, so fantastic. And so we have two kids together, um, Jamie and uh, Leo. My kids' room is really cool. They, uh, they have like, you know, stars from fiber optic lights. And then like a train that goes around the top perimeter. And then there's a ladder going through the roof that goes into a secret hideout room upstairs. It's amazing. You get to really appreciate everything uh, deeper, I think, you know, when you have children and then also understand life really well because you get to see how a human being grows up and what they th how they think, how they evolve. It's, it's really, you know, quite, quite fantastic. And we're here in the middle of the uh, forest, you know, in our little, like, playhouse sort of thing. As we go, the treehouse is a really fun spot. Um, so this is a... Uh, I first put the net up, which is like a trapeze net, so you can effectively have a hammock with 20, 30 people in it at the same time. And you're really high up, but you get this, it's just really a fun experience to lie out on it. Um, the, the vertical parts are all wood I found in the forest here. Super heavy, by the way. Um, and then, you know, other sort of construction materials. And it's got these slides, and it's really fun. I built uh, everything here, basically. Now, you know, I, I've learned along the way, so sometimes if the, I need a really specialty maneuver, like put a pipe in here or run some, you know, complex electrical work, I may bring in a specialist. So what I love about that is you also learn how to do all this stuff, right? It also demystifies, by the way, the uh, everything around you when you know how to build it and you know what's going on. It's actually way easier than you think. Yeah, I, I call myself both, uh, you know, like an amateur artist. Some of the stuff here is, is mine, like the painting or like that uh, print there. Um, that's something I did. I love collecting art. Um, uh, I do a lot of Hungarian artists, um, so maybe 20, 30 percent of the stuff in here is from Hungary. For my wife, Avi, I built this uh, spa. So we have that upstairs, you know, with the sauna and so on. Um, and, uh, you know, lots of plants and uh, just a really fun, relaxing space. And I'm now building sort of the next get the the second guest room upstairs uh, is going to be um, the theme is like a wizard library at night. H had you met the wizard in the forest? And uh, it'll be sort of like an office guest room sort of thing.
there's visual appealment everywhere you look. I, I love the idea of busyness, and there's always something to dazzle the eye. Now, if you walked into my office, it'd be even crazier than this. It's basically an open area for graffiti. And the graffiti changes every five to seven days. You, you know, it's all repainted by artists who come in. It's amazing because you know, you're not being chased by the cops, it's, you, know, you have time. The quality of art is phenomenal, just phenomenal. We're gonna probably put a book out at some point on the Graffiti Terror Cycle. We do books every, you know, and you know, we have our TV show and stuff, so we do a lot of content. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll end up releasing a graffiti book one day. It's, it's, it's fun, you know, it's, it's a colorful life. I really live in a world where all of my dreams are more or less manifested. And that's super fun. Uh, I think we're good on the interview. Okay, cool. Yeah.